Hoka has recently launched two new shoes, and they're putting on an event with Running Warehouse. It's time to hop on a plane and make some videos. This is a runner's weekend in San Luis Obispo. Yo, what's going on everybody? We are here in San Luis Obispo at the Running Warehouse retail space. I don't think you guys have seen it, at least on my channel before, and this is my first time being here in person, but I'm here at the store now. Here it is, we got a shoe wall over here, and it's adjoining to a tennis warehouse, so there's lots of racking and stuff here. We got Connor here, he's gonna give me a tour of the town and hosting me for the weekend. Really excited to check everything out. Now, most of you guys are familiar with Running Warehouse as an online store, but it's a legit physical retail space as well. In addition to all the normal stuff you'd expect, they've got some jerseys on the wall from all the local universities. And Jordan Hesse is from San Luis Obispo, so she signed a bunch of stuff that they've got on display that you could check out, as well as some signed items from a bunch of different athletes who have been here through the warehouse. But there is also the warehouse as well, and I got to get a little tour behind the scenes through all the racks, and I got to check out the studio space where Connor makes all the running warehouse videos. After I got a quick tour of the warehouse, we were out because it was a beautiful day and we were gonna go for a run. took me on a run through Poly Canyon, which features a bunch of structures designed by the Cal Poly architecture students over the years. The structures were a little bit creepy, but nevertheless fun to explore. It seemed to be a place where art intersected with architecture and the architecture students could really experiment with form, material, and whimsy. The structures are laid out so you could run the trail a little bit explore another structure and then continue on running some more to find the next piece the place kind of reminded me of a grown-up version of maggie daly park in chicago except this place just had a lot more graffiti and profanity all over the place Giant P. Best view and slow. Oh, that's right. Oh man, this is beautiful. It's like a painting down there. After dinner, Connor and some other running warehouse people took me down to the farmer's market in downtown Slow. Like any great farmer's market, you could get produce, but the fun stuff is on the other side where you can get prepared food, like these mini donuts, burritos, barbecue sandwiches, or my choice for the evening, a vegetable crepe. We're at the farmer's market, apparently, this is bubblegum alley. Oh my goodness, I've never seen so much gum in my life. This is all bubblegum. This is so gross. It is a little bit after 8 a.m. here in San Luis Obispo, California on a Friday morning. Today, I've got another track workout planned. 
I've got Connor from Running Warehouse who has very graciously agreed to work with me and get this workout in. We're about to head over to the Cal Poly track so we get in this speed session. All right, I was gonna try to lead the first one, guys. Connor took over after the first quarter because I was messing up the pace. Went off a so, little hot, 5.30 pace for the first <laughs> four, but we, we got it back together. All right. and, uh, yeah, I mean, I think, you, I think you're looking pretty strong. Yeah, thanks. All right, one more minute. We'll get started in the next one. Rep number two done. I don't think I told you guys what the workout is for today. I've been working on some 5K speed, so we're gonna do three times 1600 at threshold, one minute recovery, and then I'm gonna spike up. This guy's gonna flex and do the rest of the workout in Bondi's. We're gonna do six 200s at mile pace. One more mile rep to go. I don't feel good. Thanks for pacing me. I think I totally would have screwed this up without you here. No, you look and strong. And so it made it feel nice and easy, even effort the whole way, so. And you picked it up the last half. That's the most important. You kind of got in that rhythm and. Yeah, I mean, it's just so different when you're chasing someone on, on track, which is something I haven't done in like decades. So it's nice to, to have a, a workout, buddy. Now we got uh, some twos. Six twos. All right, I'm gonna spike up, get at it. Poozy, you got on the CLOXs. I got the Bondi's. We're gonna see which one is the true speed shoe. I don't think the Bondi quite gets the respect it deserves. So let's see if we can go 40 and then work our way down. All right, well, let's go. Well done. That's a wrap. Nice. All right, how did the Bondi feel on those 200s? You know, the Bondi surprisingly can get moving. It's a smooth <laughs> shoe. So as much as it's a little on the heavier side, a little plusher, it can get down there. How'd the Cielos feel? They felt great. It took me a while to get, to get used to spikes again. Yep. I think this is my fourth workout in them. And now I'm really looking forward to doing these 200s and spikes, which is something I do not think I'd be saying. We are feeling good now. Let's wait till tomorrow. <laughs> the spikes do take a little time to get used to. Sure. But. All right. Well, tomorrow we got a nice long-ish, well, easy run yeah. in the Bondi tomorrow. So it'll be perfect. And in one of the best places in slow. That's right. Bob Jones Trail. Can't wait. the warehouse for a bunch of shoes we're gonna shoot some fun videos coming up soon and we're about to start shooting getting all the 
Shoes ready, camera's ready, mic's here. He's gonna be filming this today. We got the mics are hot. Or this one's hot, that one's not yet. But we're gonna get going and uh, shoot some videos in here. This studio is pretty awesome. We got one set up here with uh, some color on the wall. And then through here, there's another setup, which we'll be shooting another video on the big white wall later today. Connor just dropped me off, that's him taking off now. We've got a little bit of a break. We had a full day of filming at Running Warehouse. We cranked out a bunch of videos. Those will be coming out over the next coming weeks as they get those edited up. A lot of fun. He has a lot more kind of infrastructure so we can pull off some videos that I've been wanting to do for a long time, but that I just don't have enough people to pull off myself. So really excited to see those. Now I've got about an hour and a half, two hours before dinner i'm gonna find some food i'm super hungry. good morning everybody it is a little bit before 8 a.m here in avila california getting ready for the bondi and Mach 5 event. We got a lot of people signed up for a demo run and walk. I think it's gonna be a five mile run. I got the Bondi's on today. Everyone's getting set up here with Running Warehouse and Hoka. I think it's gonna be a fun day. Special guest, Kuzuzi. He is here. He is a great, powerful influencer. Yeah! yeah. Woo! Why we're doing this morning. Um, so if you want to say hi to him, follow him, Adam. Um, he's awesome. And then, Kuzuzi, I'm going to have our guy, Eric, over here, lead you guys out. You're going to go through the two blue pillars that say Hoka on there. And then you're going to follow the blue hair and drive until it gets to the bottom of this bike path. Good job, good run. Nice work, nice work. It looks like the fog is cooking off and we have a beautiful day here along the beach on the west coast here. Oh, what a fantastic run, five miles along the bike trail here. It was a really nice run, had some great company out there. Running Warehouse gave me a bunch of drink tickets for the rest of the morning, so I'm going to enjoy some of this California weather and this fantastic view. What a great day. It is a little bit before 7.30 a.m. here on a Sunday in San Luis Obispo. My last morning here, I'm going solo. I've got a route loaded up in the Coros Vertex 2. Let's see if I can follow it.
sure where I missed any turns, but this thing just gave me a deviated from course notice. Oh, is this it? Oh, this doesn't feel like the trail, but uh, it looks like a trail, kind of. Uh, that doesn't seem right. I'm gonna stay on the main trail. I feel like this is wrong. Maybe the Strava route that I picked was not a great one. There's that notice again. Summit. Day, found a giant pea. Today, I found a giant M. Okay, so definitely going the wrong way. This may have been where I was supposed to go on the way up originally. Not sure, but I think we'll be fine. Either way, we'll have fun out on the trails today and I can kind of see where I am. So even if I'm not where I'm supposed to be according to the watch, I'm not really lost. I'll figure it out. I never did find the route that I had originally planned. But like a lot of great adventures, things that don't go as planned can often work out in the end. San Luis Obispo is a beautiful place and the running is good. But it's the people who have me looking forward to my next trip back. Yo, what's going on?